Now, Butterfly Creek in Auckland has so much more than just incredible butterflies and an awesome dinosaur kingdom. We are now joined by animal keeper Paul Barrett and a couple of his scaly friends. Morning, Paul. Good morning. Uh, Lovely to have you in here and you've given me this little darling to hold on to. Now, tell me a little bit about him. This is one of our bearded dragons which we have at Butterfly Creek. Uh, we have a number of reptiles there and the beardies are very popular. They make good pets. Mm. So um, we thought we'd show something which oh, look, people will be around. a little familiar with. He likes the camera. How old is he? Uh, this one's about six years old. And these make good pets, so you can come by Very good leave. pets, easy uh, to handle. So what sort of thing do you need to do when you're looking after them? You need to be sure that they, uh, this particular species is kept reasonably dry. Um, it needs quite a lot of warmth where you heat one end of the enclosure and you've got a cool area that he can go to. Mm -hmm. Lots of things that he can climb on, branches and rocks and so forth. Bit of sand down below He's and then his food. Hanging out there, what does he eat? Uh, bearded dragons eat a wide range of things, a whole range of different types of insects and so forth, but they also take um, fruit and veggies, a few flowers, they love dandelions. How, how um, long do they live for? They're actually short-lived for lizards, um, 8 to 12 years for bearded dragons. Okay, yeah, I hate to say it, but that actually makes a really good pet when they're not, you know, living for 50 years, and 8 mm. to 12 years is a good pet. <laughs> so you brought another little fellow in as well. I have Where brought another one, this is another one of our... I'll just hang on to this guy, what's his name? Yeah. Um, Bruce. Yeah. It's a better dragon. I just named him. I actually yes. just named him Bruce before, by the way. This is oh, one of our leopard geckos, which we also have tail. at Butterfly Creek. Very plump tail. He's a well fed leopard gecko. So you can have these as pets as well? <laughs> yes. Um, they're a little less uh, um, easily available than the better dragons. Where does he come from? Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iran, northern India. He looks a bit more exotic. Yes, very much so. Um, he's actually quite pale at the moment because he's getting ready to shed his skin, so he'd be a little bit darker than this. They're gorgeous when they're babies, when they hatch out of the eggs. They don't have any of these tiny spots. They just have big blotches and then bright yellow colours. And then all that starts to develop as they get older. What great pets. So what else have you got going on at Butterfly Creek over the Well, there's holidays? lots. We've got school holidays coming up, so we've got um, various programmes that we're uh, having. We've got uh, Monty the Monkey, various things in our Dinosaur Kingdom area. We've got um, dinosaur masks that pe people can go around and make and then have on their heads and scare everybody with. Heaps going so on. Lots of stuff going on. And of course you've got these cool little dudes here. I'm really growing quite fond of Bruce. He's a very easy going lizard. He's a and great Bruce lizard. And Bruce uh, and this guy, have we named this guy yet? We Barry. Name this guy. Barry. Bruce, Bruce and, and Barry. <laughs> Bruce and, go and see Bruce and Baz yeah. the lizards. Bruce and Baz have got a couple of friends at Butterfly Creek that you really want to go and see. Just quickly, do they need much interaction? Do you need to play with them? Um, they don't mind whether you do or don't. Uh, they get used to you handling them, but you shouldn't handle them all the time. They need a bit of private life of their own. Do they like little walkies? Or do we, just leave, <laughs> do we let them um, No, they're much, as little long walk? as their enclosure is large enough, they can do all the walking they like in there. Um, if they're very easy going and tame, and as long as you're uh, managing them, you could actually take them outside on the lawn and have a little munch on dandelions and that in the sun, but make sure that you are there with them, otherwise they will run off. And that will not be cool, because then where would your lizard be? Hey, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in. No problem. Really enjoyed it, and I do love little Bruce. I'm going to be really nice to get him back to you, actually. I think he's coming home with me.